Hi guys, I'm Maguan. Guess what's my best? The smell of money just drives everybody crazy. Yeah, it's very time on our minds. What does a freshly printed crispy banknote smell like? Quite a fresh and unique flavor. Money smells of beautiful women, expensive cars, luxury houses, yachts, cool parties, and finally power! The Bible says, for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evils. So, is money still evil or good? Money can buy everything, but not really. You can buy food, but you can't buy an appetite. You can't hire any doctors, but you can't buy health. You can't buy any girl, but not love. Previously, people used livestock, shells, tea and stuff as money. If our ancestors came to life and found out that we use cash and bank cards, they would fuck up. Thousands of years have passed, but the people are still the same. They are in love with money and goods. And if you can't solve the problem with money, it's no longer a problem with expense. You can buy the most beautiful girl in the world, but not her love. If you look like a piece of shit, you are rich. They'll sleep with you and tell a fairy tale about love. But I guarantee, right after that, she'll maybe vomit on your expensive jacket. Recently, your dad changed his will and cut your inheritance share and raised your brothers. You start hating both of them. Your neighbor bought a brand new car and you can't even buy a new washing machine. You already mentally claim. When you got money, they wanna befriend you. They're gonna lick you like a cat licks its balls. It's cool to be cat's balls. But suddenly you are bankrupt. Where are your friends now? And what can you do without money? See that bomb? He once said himself, money is evil, fuck the job. Now he lives in a trash can. But you keep working and don't live any better than him. You can only afford to drink a beer once a week while watching the sunset. And this bomb drinks beer every day. So what the fuck are you working for, buddy? Those who work have no time to make money. <laughs> That's why I take care on how to make a passive income from a young age, so that in old age you lie in the jacuzzi with thumb cheeks, moaning with pleasure. Otherwise, you'll be guarding some school for mentally retarded at night, moaning from back pain. Imagine that a weirdo buys a lottery ticket and fills it out. He's a jackpot, a bunch of millions, and starting trapping the whole world, he's a millionaire. Then a popular night show invites him, and the host asks, What are you gonna do with this money? And he's like, I will buy a house, a new car, a new vacuum cleaner. <laughs> That's the end of all his fantasies. He buys a house, five cool cars, and the most expensive vacuum cleaner the world has ever seen. Okay, what's next? He receives insane bills for the maintenance of the house and car. In addition, he starts raising a lot of money. Restaurants, girls, watches for $50,000, shoes for $5,000, a bottle of wine from Napoleon's times for the price of a car. What filth? His usual California wine for $10 is even tasty. In short, he spent all his money. In addition, he lost his job. And then his wife found him with his mistress in a chic bed worth a fortune and filed for divorce. The house was sold the cheap, then the car for half the price. Then he sold the watch for a penny and finally sold the bed too. And his friends don't give a damn about him. The children turn away from him, dad, buy a new bike, and dad already has no money even for mom's pets. And he begins living much worse than before he bought this damn lottery ticket. Almost like that bomb, only without beer. Guys, write in the comments which of you has won the lottery at least once in your life. How did you spend this money? Did you give a new car to your big booped neighbor in secret from the wife? Money's very capricious like children. You should treat them with respect and affection. Otherwise, they may be offended and you will find yourself in complete ass. And someone who was luckier, his grandfather, an oil magnet, died and left all the money and assets to his only grandchild. If he 
has a few brains, they will correctly dispose of their money. But someone was less lucky. He decided not to wait for the rich grandma to die a natural death. What a wait! Maybe the grandma will live 20 years more, but the grandchild needs it now. Everything at once! The grandma drowned in the bathroom and the grandchild went to life imprisonment! You've probably heard some stories about how many rich and famous people went broke, and this although hundreds of millions have been earned. Mike Tyson, for example, he lost 300 million. Holy shit, how is it possible, you say? He bought luxury houses, cars, jewelry, and even a rare breed tiger. Why the fuck did he need a tiger? He'd have a rhino instead of a dog. A rhino with a golden horn. <laughs> you should treat money as a beautiful, capricious girl. You should respect and cherish it. Otherwise, it's like that girl will run away to a more successful one. Did you know that the richest 1% of people in the world have greater wealth than the entire population of the earth? And even if we divide this money equally among the 7 billion people of the earth, it'll come back to them again! <laughs> and you serve their interests. They dictate what to wear, what to eat, and even then to breathe. They taught you that money is your god. Oh my god! Imagine, you don't have to work from tomorrow. Everyone will get as much money as he wants. Or let's cancel the money altogether. Take whatever you want. And what then? You'll get the largest house in the world. You'll make it look like a museum. Every day a new car. You'll sit on a golden toilet. At the time, some cool chef will serve you the most exotic dish in the world. Every day parties promiscuity. And so it's every day boring. And not just for you. After all, there is several billion people like you who don't do nothing, but they have everything for free. Who you all turn into? And a be stupid animal with a worthless life and no purpose. Stop! I was thinking there are not enough gold toilets for everyone. And who made them? In fact, no one works. So what that money, evil or necessity? Look at lots of starving children. Many charity foundations help them out, donate to orphanages. But they hide large amounts from taxation. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want me to continue making fun of our entire planet. It's gonna be fun.